Growing up in Saxon in the 90s and stuff, if someone challenged you to a fight because I was boxing then, you can't say no. You, you can't. You're a coward. You've got to go outside with them. Word got round that I was starting to get better at fighting and stuff, and when people challenge you, you cannot say no. It's like, oh, that's Paul Over, don't fuck with him. He trains him. I think because I train them, I'm better than them, and I'm not anymore because I'm old. But it's a good perception to have in this world, if you like. While the centre of Durham looks absolutely beautiful on a postcard, the small villages around there are beset with problems like the rest of the country. Cocaine use, with heroin use, and Durham's no different. When I lived with Sacriston, there was a heroin epidemic, and I didn't even have a lock on my shed. Do you know what I mean? My garden shed, I didn't even have a lock on it. Never got touched. Never, ever. Are you all right? If you ask me if I was a criminal, to the letter of the law, I'm a criminal. But I've done more good in the community, and I've never stole a thing in my life. You can be proud, you can never ever forget this, what you've done all right. Thank you very much. Me nana had an old saying before she died. If you fly with the crows, you get shot with them. I mean, it's right, isn't it? If I went down the bus station now and started drinking cider and taking cocaine or heroin, I'm more likely to get in trouble than I am sitting here. Talking to you. Let's go out and put a performance on. All right. Thank you and good luck. Thank you. Where there's less money, and you don't need a lot of money to box. It just gets people off the street. Where you see a kid who potentially could be going down the wrong tracks, you get him in the gym, you get him fit, you make him disciplined, and then you get him a job and you see him five years later, and he's got a mortgage, he's got a car, he's got a couple of kids or he's got a kid, you know? It's just brilliant. I feel really privileged, if I'm honest.